what is happening you guys it's your boy once again back at it with another video and with another 3d 2d process fit of deku as a keyblade warrior i hope you guys learn a little bit more from my in-depth look at this again uh, thank y'all for watching the first vid if you guys did and thank y'all for the likes and the comments and feedback i really appreciate it thank y'all and i did not specifically do a a shout out to uh, roku netsu on i want to give him his props because he was the one that supplied the music from the first video and i want to acknowledge him again uh, the music you're hearing is from him so shout out to him he already has a mad following at youtube but i appreciate you man and keep doing what you're doing brother and check out more of his music on his youtube page he's amazing and cool dude overall and i've played monster hunter with him in the past and he's a cool dude so anyway this is a another look into deku and i had already made the hair which took forever which pretty much is probably the longest point of this process was the hair um, and I already used uh, a face prior and as you can see here this is a an already established character that I made and this is kind of a sneak peek of a, an original character from Sora obviously because you can see his hairstyle but basically I am capitalizing on what's already there and Kind of going off from the last video of using what already exists i'm using uh, this character's body for deku's body because it already kind of matches his um, body type and so i'm just kind of using it instead of building it from scratch here i am i'm just capitalizing and building um, on all the the nuances, all the little aesthetics that Deku already has on his leg, and using this base for Deku. And I want to also shout out to uh, Mike Chin. He was the one that originally wanted me to make this, and this was a very interesting thing because I had never done My Hero Academia before, and so this kind of allowed me to uh, draw. Uh, some my hero content so shouts out to my chin for letting me do this in this commission properly and um i also want to shout out to my patreons um i know it was a little short last time but i want to give proper props to them thank y'all for supporting me and sticking with me and liking and comments and um giving that cool uh nice feedback i really appreciate it. those who just kind of automatically liked it um, within the first hour I, it really means a lot so and if any of you guys are interested in joining the wolf pack I got um, full process uh, picks I've got PSDs I have things that I have that um, I definitely don't even upload into Instagram um, but upload them there first so if you want a sneak peek to any of the the content that I'm posting in Instagram, all that uh, here, join the Wolf Pack. Um, you can find the details in the link below. And again, shouts out to all my patrons. I much love y'all. Much love, really. I really appreciate it. And now I'm just kind of making everything black and just using Deku's second outfit. Um, not the first one from the the picture on the right, but um, yeah, now he's all black. I attached the head, the face mask, and everything. And, um, yeah, just again, just putting all the little nuances, all the little stuff. And the program that I'm using, by the way, and if you're curious on what I'm using, is Cinema 4D. And really, I, I honestly think that this program is really, as far as what I'm doing, because all I'm doing is posing. Uh, you can use this kind of formula in this this way or, or this kind of um, This way in any real 3d program like blender you can use 
3D Max um, ZBrush um, because basically I'm just creating a, a digital doll a digital uh, doll that has moving joints and it's kind of essentially a toy figure so you can you can use this same technique and apply it to blender you can apply it to any other 3d program and um, it's not complicated it's just merely just putting joints together um, having the root of everything be the body and so from the body you know you have the arms and the neck and the head and that's all controlled by the torso and anyway I'll go into depth with that later but um, yeah and so these hands uh, this is kind of the second take that I'm doing this to be honest with you and uh, I kind of rambled too much about the hands but I'll say it again these hands were used um, for three plus years I've used the same hands <laughs> so to go back to what I was saying with using something that already exists um, yeah these same hands have been used <laughs> consistently on uh, three years of content on my Instagram <laughs> and um, I already have this uh, oblivion keyblade made so I'm just dragging and dropping and earlier I had made pockets for a, uh, a female character that I did a fusion series of of Xeon and lady and she already had like a bag pocket in her deal so I just dragged and dropped there so um, yeah just getting everything ready and posed and this is kind of one of my favorite things to kind of witness and and look at and you know it's kind of it's kind of interesting watching this because when you're creating this you're you're in the zone you're just not focusing on what it looks like from the outside and um, I know this is unorthodox to some of y'all um, but this works for me. I I really hope that if anything, um, number one, if I get people interested in 3D design, great. Um, but I want to encourage people to do a process that's more comfortable with you. You may not even like to do 3D, or you may just stick with 2D. And um, I I already had a strong 2D. Uh, you know past and experience but I just wanted to go further and if, even if you're not interested in 3d um, I encourage you to find your own technique find your own process that works for you and just do it just kind of you know go go with how you are most most comfortable with obviously you know for me I I wanted to challenge in my pursuit of learning this and um, you know I already had a, a, a 3d background already with interior design in the past but that's all it really is this all this is all a, a process that works for me and I just again be yourselves be unique everyone has a different process there's no such thing as one authentic way of doing it there's many ways of doing it because there are many types of people and so um, just want to reemphasize that um, and just kind of say say my say on that per se so um, but here's a um, the line art version of it a real quick <laughs> re-edition of it and as you can see everything is there color information lighting shadows and everything and that's that it's it's all done and this program was done in uh procreate so cinema 4d and procreate and that's it i appreciate you guys for watching thank y'all and don't forget to like subscribe and comment and i'll catch you on the next one